This is Slasher here at MLG Dallas 2013, day number two, and I'm here with Suppy on the second day to talk about his loss, and the end of the tournament came yesterday against Rhett. Uh, you had a ZBZ, first game, first match of the weekend against Rhett. Unfortunately, you got knocked out. Uh, what happened in that game? Um, it basically came down to him just knowing how to play the matchup better than I did. Um, I actually talked to him after the games, and he made more drones, and we both thought that that was the turning point in the game because both of us were going Muta Ling, and it was pretty even, except he had a much higher mineral income, and that ended up giving him a lot more Lings than me in every game, and I ended up losing um, just because he had more units than me. I ended up talking to Rhett before his match against you, and he thought I would turn into Muta, Muta as well. Is that kind of how I ended up turning out anyway? Yeah, definitely ended up turning out that way, and we both expected it because I had heard from all my friends that he plays Mutas, and most people know that I like to play Mutas. I was playing Mutas uh, a lot in Wings of Liberty as well, so it was very likely going to turn into Muta versus Muta. You know, we both of you liking that type of style and Heart of the Swarm, promoting more Muta play. What was your mindset going in? Did you feel like you are going to have that mirror matchup anyway, or were you trying to maybe change it up, try some different things? Uh, I didn't really want to change it up because I actually felt very confident. Um, I have a 2-0 record against Rhett previously in tournaments. Uh, I defeated him at Assembly and at uh, MLG Dallas last time, actually, I think. And uh, I was pretty confident, uh, even though I knew he was doing pretty well in IEM and was doing a lot better in general. Um, but I had been practicing Muta vs. Muta for a long time, like I said. I'd been playing in Wings of Liberty, so I thought I would have more experience with it. But Heart of the Swarm introduced a couple new changes that I think changed things slightly, and uh, he was able to capitalize on those. What are those biggest changes for you moving forward that are affecting your play? Uh, for ZVZ, it's definitely the Spore buff. Um, I actually didn't know how strong they were, and I lost. I just looked at the replay like 30 minutes ago, and I lost three Mutalists to one Spore, um, just trying to take out an Extractor, which is something that wouldn't have happened in Wings of Liberty. Um, and in general, for the other matchups, it's just trying to use those new units better. I've been expecting, or I've been um, trying to use Vipers and Investors at the same time and just trying to get used to that. Uh, and it seems pretty fun. Like, I really like using the Vipers for sure. So, Heart of the Storm's been out for a little while. I've been able to talk to you a little bit with the pros and what their thoughts are. I gotta say, the Zerg players, out of everyone I've spoken to, have been the most outspoken about how their race is so far. So now what are your kind of overall thoughts without me giving you any preconceptions? Um, I think in general, it's kind of, Zerg is the race that really needs to figure out their opponent and figure out the styles that their opponents can do, the limits of their opponents, before they can really start excelling. And that's something we saw towards the end of Wings of Liberty where things started get, getting figured out. Zerg started doing a lot better because Zerg, they have the uh, capacity to drone and, and get their economy running really, really quickly. So if they know exactly what their opponent can be doing at certain times in the game, they can be a lot stronger. So right now, when people don't really know what's going on, uh, Zerg is definitely a lot weaker. Um, but I think in the, like, as the game develops, Zerg will get stronger. Um, I would like to see a couple of late game buffs for Zerg in terms of versus Protoss at least though, because Protoss Void Ray compo composition seems really strong. Hard to argue that Zerg wasn't the best at the end of Wings of Liberty, especially with, you know, all the tournaments that we saw, IPL, MLG, and GSL. Now Heart of the Swarm comes out, and it seems like it's completely flipped that around. Zerg is now on the bottom again, Protoss and Terra are on the top. Uh, what are your biggest concerns right now? Is it more to do with uh, nerfing some of the things that Protoss and Terran got buffed, or is it going to be to bring some of the things that Zerg may have gotten nerfed at the end of Wings of Liberty to reverse that back to Heart of the Swarm? Um, one of my main concerns is that Protoss and Terran might be able to get uh, compositions that are kind of similar to what Broodlord and Fester was at the end of Wings of Liberty. And you can already kind of see that with Sky Toss, as I mentioned earlier. It seems very, very difficult to kill. Um, and one of the things I would like Blizzard to change is instead of nerfing the other races, I'd like to see a buff for Zerg. Uh, and I think that makes the game a lot more exciting, a lot more dynamic. Um, that's why I really, really like all the changes they've made in Heart of the Swarm so far. It's been like buffs to pretty much every race. And you can see that the game is just a lot more exciting, it's a lot more fun to watch and play. And so I hope if they do decide to make a change, they uh, go that route instead. If you had to choose one buff to any of the Zerg pieces right now, 
What do you think needs the most attention? I think the swarm hosts could be a little bit stronger. Um, it's very, very, it's very vulnerable, especially when its cooldown is off. Um, it has a lot of potential to be used better, though. So I think Blizzard maybe should wait a little bit. Um, but the swarm host could use a little buff. It's it's a little strong mid game, though. So it's going to be a really, really, you know, sticky situation. They're going to have to figure things out. Um, and then in late game, not too sure, but. Maybe Corruptors versus Void Rays somehow, somehow needs some kind of change. So you're out of the event. Now you get to sit back and kind of watch some of the games progress, Heart of the Swarm. Still new, so there's still new things being showed. Uh, the Korean contingency is out in full force. But if you had to pick who you think might be the one to come out of here alive to win this whole thing, who do you think it would be? Um, I, I'd probably have to say Life. I mean, I think a lot of people probably have been saying that. So you're picking a Zerg player anyway. You think he's going to overcome? I don't know, man. That guy's crazy. He's a beast. So we'll see. I hope he does, because then I can study all the replays later and watch. So that's who I'm rooting for at this point, I think, aside from my teammates. Thank you, Suppy, and good luck at the next event. Thank you. Stay tuned to GameSpot.com slash eSports for coverage all weekend long of the MLG Winter Championships.